Eight, and residents say they received federal assistance then and were promised flood protections. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. It's a repeat again within five years again. So close. Like, again, this is happening. It's sad, it's, it's sad you know, because you lose everything. You work hard, you get everything, and then you lose it again. City crews have been here for the last several hours trying to work on the sewers. We're told in the middle of the street there, which is Foster Avenue, the water is about waist deep. The water has gone down somewhat in this neighborhood over the last few hours, but any more rain is certainly not going to help the situation here. Live at near Pulaski and Foster, Eric Hong, ABC 7 News. Back to you now. All right, Eric, thanks. Uh, now the story about that giant sinkhole that swallowed up some cars on the city's south side. We have been showing you these pictures throughout the day. Amazing to see a lot of people live in the area shocked, saying this is more like something that would happen in Florida than Chicago. And that is where ABC 7's Teresa Gutierrez joins us now live with that story. Teresa? Well, Sylvia, the 10th Ward Alderman says he had never seen a sinkhole this size, at least 40 feet wide and 12 to 15 feet deep. Just try to imagine that. He also added that the water main that broke was at least 8 inches in size and over 100 years old, and that they had been trying to repair the infrastructure in the area. That's what they've been doing. However, they had not reached this area yet, this point yet. The sinkhole opened up at around 5 this morning at 9600 South Houston Avenue, quickly growing in size. Peter Privokuka, who lives in the neighborhood, said his son was on his way to work in a silver pickup truck when the hole opened and he drove down into it. Privokuka says his son was taken to Northwestern Hospital with minor injuries and he remained at the scene to see what happened to the pickup truck. It was finally removed from the sinkhole several hours later once it was determined safe to do so. He got a no, no breakage, bones, no nothing, you know, yeah. So he's okay? He's all right now. The water department says the sinkhole opened up after a water main broke. It's an old water main that dates back to 1915. And when it broke, it breached the sewer below it. The alderman of the 10th Ward says that the water pipe that broke is over 100 years old. Again, the water line that broke the pipe eight inches, 100 years old plus. That was the initiation or the cause of this. Uh, the gas and electric will be on while the plates are being put in place. This is an unfortunate circumstance. I'm just happy no one was seriously hurt. I'm going out to start my car and I saw the car drawn in. I was scared. Several cars were pulled out of the sinkhole at close to three this afternoon. Well, you know, right now the residents are really concerned because they're without water here on 95th and 96th. But we understand that shortly they're going to start capping the sinkhole, and they expect that the residents will have water within two hours. Right now, water is being brought into them. And you have to really credit the workers here that have been working for hours trying to repair the damage. Reporting from Vets Park in South Chicago, Teresa Gutierrez, ABC 7 News. Ellen and Sylvia, back to you. 